And who is Vito? Vito is off 3rd and G. And what did you do after you stashed the guns? We stashed the guns and I went and dropped Redden them off. I went and dropped Redden them off by back where they was at uptown. I went to, you know, I went to Metairie by my hotel. But I'm watching Nola to see, you know, what Nola's saying, like what the people saying, if they got a description. But on Nola, they were saying like, man, it was a purple van and the dudes really want to kill the dudes, whoever that was in there. You know, they making comments. So I know that they ain't have nothing on that van or they didn't have nobody. So we just was, we just left it like it was. Did you see any photos of Maul on NOLA.com? Yeah, we took the pictures off NOLA and we made a shirt with it. And we had, laugh now, cry later. Would you recognize photos from that shooting if I showed them to you? Yeah. If I could go to exhibit 162 photo 5. Is this already in evidence? Yes, your honor. All right, what is it? 162. Does that look like the acro y'all shot up? Yes. Next photo. If you can go to photo 10 and photo 89, is that mall? Yeah. Does that look like the photo that was on the internet? Yeah. And now I want to go back. Would you recognize photos from the ROD shooting if I showed them to you? Um, the one you and Pound did? Yes. Okay. I want to show you exhibit 160. Is that the guy you and Pound shot? Yeah, he was sitting on the porch right there. Next photo. And photo 25, please. Where the cones are, is that the direction you all were shooting from? Huh? Where the cones are, were y'all shooting from that side or the other? Yeah, object to leading questions. Overruled, you can answer that. Huh? You can answer that. Yeah, you know right there, that's where we turn the corner at. When you, if you see on the pictures, you'll see that we turn the corner right there and we stood right there and shot him up. He was sitting on the port. He had his back turned. He didn't even expect us because he thought we were the police in the blue Taurus. You testified earlier that Bo and Co and Gutter shot at y'all and killed Cheddar Black, correct? What you said? I said, you testified earlier that Co and Bo and Gutter shot at you and killed Cheddar Black, correct? Yes. Did there come a time when y'all, y'all were trying to kill Bo? Yeah, many a times. And why did y'all want to kill Bo so bad? Because Bo had something to do with killing Saul's brother, Cheddar. Was there a time that you and T-Red saw Bo's car on Louisa or Pity Street, kind of in the Desire area? Oh, yeah. That's when we were getting off the interstate. They were on Louisa by the meat market. And what did you see? Tell the jury what, who were you with? Me and Red was together. And, well, we got off because Merle told me to bring one of the big guns down there. So I'm driving to bring the gun down there. But me and Red together, let me back up. Where did you get, where were you getting the big gun from and where were you taking it to? I was getting it from, I was getting it from uptown to bring it downtown. And do you know what big gun you were getting? Yeah, the AK-47. The same one that I used. The same one that I used on Gutter and the same one Pound used on a dude in Bunker Hill. And why was that gun uptown? Because we use, when we use it, like, say if I kill somebody. If I kill somebody, like, say if I kill somebody on Broad, or if I kill somebody uptown or downtown, I'm going to go to my escape route the best way I could go. Like, if I want to go uptown, I want to just go uptown and put the gun up. If I go downtown, I go downtown and do it. It all depends on how I want to do it. So, Merle wanted the gun back? Yeah, he just said bring a big gun down there. Again, who were you with? Me and T-Red. All right. And what did you all see? Well, we got off on Louisa and we was passing up the desire. I seen, I seen the Maxima. It's a burgundy Maxima. That's both girlfriend car, but he be riding there. So I'm like, oh, that boy at the store, we about to punish him. So I call Leroy and I'm like, Leroy, look, we got Bo. I said, man, come watch out for us. We gonna sit around the corner. When he come out the store, we gonna flip him. So I'm telling Red like, man, let me get the gun, son. I wanna punish that boy. Red like, man, I wanna handle that. Get so Leroy stalking the dude, like he on Louisa. He watching out for him until he come out the store. When he come out the store, Leroy called like, man, look, that boy at the store. He about to jump in the car now. He coming y'all way. So he coming up Louisa. When you make the right to go into the desire and come back and make another right, you making it to us. So now you got to stop at the stop sign. Ray get out the car. 
when we get out the car, by the time the dude gets to the stop sign, like get close to the stop sign, Red shoot. When he shoot him, he jump. Like the dude must have got hit. I don't know, he jumped in the back seat. So now the car ain't moving no more. The car, well, it's moving, but it ain't going fast. It's just cruising when you can just sit on the side of the car and just shoot in there until the person dead. So Red just pulled up on the side of it and just kept on hitting him while he in the back seat. So Red was walking next to the moving car. Yeah. And also shooting at the same time. Yeah. Okay. The car, it wasn't going fast. It was like going half a mile or something like it was just cruising down because he can't hit the gas no more. He in the back seat. Would you recognize photos from that if I showed it to you? Yeah. I'm going to show you what's been marked as Exhibit 164, previously admitted. And if you could go to photo 11. Is that the Burgundy Maxima you're talking about? Yeah. That's the first shot right there in the windshield to make him jump to the back seat. And if you go to photo 12 and 13 and 25, what were you all driving that day? We were driving my van. It was a rental. At this time, did you know who was exactly driving the car? No. We thought it was Bo. Leroy ain't tell us who it was. He wanted him to do so bad where he just... He ain't tell us like, man, that's Donald. Even though if it was Donald or not. If he'd been like, man, that's Donald, we still gonna kill him because he had the desire. So we ain't know until we went to Miami and they had rest in peace Donald all over Facebook and stuff. So that's how we knew it was Donald. You said you were in a van that day? Yeah. Your Honor, I'm going to move to publish what has previously been admitted as Government's Exhibit 17. All right. I can't hear it. Is that the 911 tape? I can't hear it. Is that the 911 call? It's the 911. We're trying to get the audio better, Judge. Maybe a little bit too loud. Try again. Thank you. What did you all do after T Red finished shooting the guy in the red car? We pulled off and Leroy was at the he was at the other corner and we went down I think we went down to Poland. We got to Poland and went by Merle Mama House. And when you all got there, who was over there? Merle. It was a lot of them over there. We was just telling that boy like Man, yeah, we just killed Bo, son. We killed Bo. But Leroy so snaked out, he didn't even much tell us that it wasn't Bo. The whole time we thinking that's Bo. So Merle like, come on, man, we going to Miami. So me, Breezy, all of us went. We shot to Miami in the vans and went all the way. We went to Miami for Memorial Weekend. How many people went to Miami with you all? I say probably like 10 or 12 of us. Where was everybody? Was it all Ninth Ward guys? Was it a mix of 3 and G? T-Red came with us. Weefus came with us too. Where is Weefus from? He out third in G. Okay. And who came from the downtown side? It was majority of a uh, majority of all of us. Like me, Breezy, Eloy, Leroy, Nelly. T-Red was down there with us too. It was a lot of us. Okay. Did Merle go too? Yeah, he went with his friends though. He went. He was with his side friends like the good dudes. That AK-47 that T-Red used in that murder you just described, had that been used in other crimes? Yeah, it had been used in. It was used in a murder with Gutter when Gutter, when Gutter and them had killed Cheddar. I used it. I used it on Gutter. Pound used it on in Bunker Hill. And, um, and, you know, Ray used it on this murder. So that's about it. This wasn't necessarily T-Red's beef, correct? No, uh-uh. It's our beef. Did that make you feel a certain way about T-Red? Yeah, like, with T-Red, bro, tell you the truth, like, that's really like my true brother, like, but I know our relationship is over with because you know what I'm doing to him right now, but you know, it's messed up. All right, do you remember that summer, did Merle have a birthday slash retirement party? What you said? Did Merle or Frey have a birthday slash retirement party? Yeah. In July? Yeah. Where did that take place? In the sports view in the 8th Ward. And what was the party for? It was his retirement party because he said that he gonna retire, he gonna stop selling drugs. And who was at this party? The whole 39ers. What did you all do before the party? We ride in a limousine and stuff. We had Ace of Spades. We were gonna ride around getting money from the casino, the truck stop and stuff so we could throw. Throw money at the party? Yeah. Who was riding around in a limo with you all? Me, Elo, Merle, Breezy, Leroy, Evans, Dave. It was all of us in a limo. 
What is this? Government's Exhibit 30, Your Honor. Already been admitted. Do you recognize what this is a video of? Yeah, that's of the party. Who paid for all of the bar, the lights, that kind of stuff? We all came together and put money together. The whole group of us. Why did you want to pay for a party for Merle? Because we showing them that, you know, we mess with them. That's the type of stuff we do. And what was the significance of the Reebok cake? That's all he wears, Reebok and Jabov. And you mentioned the eye sculpture earlier. Yeah. Can you tell us who that is? Don't guess if you don't know. You gotta go back, I can't see. Is that you? Yeah. Is that T-Bone? Yeah, that's T-Bone. Can you tell me who this is? You can go back a little? Oh yeah, that's Rat. Who is this? Breezy. Who is this with the bandana on his head? Soul Black. Do you know all of these people coming upstairs? Yeah, I know a few of them. Who is this? That's Merle. Was Merle carrying any cash at night? Yeah, he was stunned. He had a hundred racks in all hundreds. One hundred thousand dollars in all hundreds. And why did they have all of that cash? That's to show people, like, you know, nigga really on. Do you know who this is? Yeah, that's Nut the Kid. And who is Nut the Kid? What does he do for a living? He a rapper. He rap with G-Unit. Who is that? That's me. And what is Saul Black's real name? Solomon Dorsey or something like that. How did you know Nut the Kid? Because his brother used to hang on a block used to hang on a strip before like in 2003 because his brother used to hang on a block used to hang on a strip before like in 2003 and where was Nut the Kid from? Out Mazant did there ever come a time when Nut did a song with one of the 3NG guys? yes who did he do a song with? with QP and how did they meet? through me I told Pizzle I heard him rapping and I told him he was nice I told him that I called Nut for him to get on something with him. And he thought I was lying. So I called Nut, and Nut came to the park, and they hooked up from there. Did they ever record a song together? Yeah. Were you present for that? Yeah. Where did that take place? Downtown in the Ninth Ward. And that was at a recording studio? Yeah. Who all was there for that? The 39ers. It was like half of 3rd and G and half of the Ninth Ward. How many people total do you think were there for that? I'd say probably like 10 of us. And who paid for that? We just put something together. It was no big money like that. Dude was like, he was like a little side hustler. It wasn't like no big old major thing. Like, it was just a little money. But all of us put something together. And later, did you all film a video for that as well? Yes. Were you part of filming that also? Yes. Okay. And I'll come to that in a minute. Who is that? That's Breezy. What was going on upstairs at this party? He introducing everybody like, you know, he talking on stuff. He introducing everybody and who everybody is like and what they do. Who is that? That's Elo. And would you recognize some still photos from that night? Huh? Would you recognize some other photos from that night? Yeah. Let me ask you one more question. Well, I'll ask it in a second. This is previously admitted Exhibit 41. Do you recognize this photo? Yes. Who is that? That's Merle showing all the money. And how much money was this down here? $100,000 in hundreds. And who is on Merle's shirt? Cheddar Black. Can you tell who this is over here? Yeah, that's me. You could tell by the other pictures that I got on. I got the green shirt with the white cargo pants. Same question. Do you recognize this photo? Yeah. All right. That's Merle? Yeah. And that's you? Yeah. Why are you next to Merle in all of these photos? Because he told me that. He told me to make sure he's straight because he don't drink like that. He been drinking and he got all of that money. You know I don't drink. I'll keep my eyes on him at all times. And I want to show you one more person in Exhibit 30. Do you know who this is with Nut? That's Nut's cousin, Mike. Thank you. And earlier I was asking about the song you did or you witnessed being recorded 
and the video being filmed with QP and Nut. Would you recognize the video of that if I showed it to you? Yes. If I could see Exhibit 48, can you tell what neighborhood this is? Yeah, that's uptown on 3rd and G. And where is this part being filmed, the other part? That was downtown. In the Ninth Ward? Yeah. Can you tell who that is? Yeah, that's AD. Who is that? That's T-Bone. Who is that? That's Nut. Who is that? That's me. Can you tell who that is? That's T-Red. You mentioned a Vito earlier. Yeah. Do you see Vito? Yeah, he's got that third and G we the best t-shirt, 39ers. And that's where you hit guns, at his house? Yeah, we had, he was staying on, he was staying by Xavier, the college, and we just stashed it right there because that was the closest spot. Can you see what's tucked under your arm there? Yeah, my gun. What gun was that? A Glock, a Glock 30. And what caliber is that? A 45. And why did you have a gun at this video shoot? Because what I'm not going, everybody know this video getting shot, so somebody could come around there, ain't no police around there. I hold a gun on me at all times. Speaking of guns, did you all give your guns nicknames? Yeah, they had nicknames for it. They had Michelle, that was a Glock 19 that got caught in a hotel with Woody. They got Barack, that's the one Rico Freaky got caught with. Both of them guns was using the Magnolia Shorty. And who came up with those nicknames? Man, I don't know. We just, that's just something, that's some names that came about, you know. You can make names up because, you know, it's just a nickname. I don't really know. The nickname was roaming around and we just ran with it. Did there ever come a time when Evans thought somebody had stolen Michelle? Oh, yeah. Can you tell the jury how you learned about that or what happened? Objection, hearsay, your honor. Objection sustained. Rephrase your question. Did Evans Lewis tell you about that? Well, at first I ain't know that the gun was stolen because Evans ain't what. Evans wasn't going to tell me because I told him I don't like that dude, but the dude was his friend. So, and do you know the dude's name? Yeah, the dude named Charlie. And how, where did you see Charlie? I ain't see him around where I saw him first by. I was talking to the girl Isha. She had the Calliope and his baby mama named Nini. So he told me something that, he told me that he killed one of the little dudes that I knew about. And I, this is Charlie told you that? Yeah. Okay. And I ain't liked it because the dude who he killed was, Judge, I'm going to object. This is hearsay. Objection sustained. I'd ask that the court instruct the jury to disregard the prior statement. I just sustained the objection. You are to disregard the last question and the last answer. Proceed. Did you know you knew this Charlie guy? Yeah. And did you know that Evans knew Charlie? Yes. Did you know or ever see Evans and Charlie hang out? Yeah, I knew that was his partner. I seen them one time together. Did there come a time when Evans told you that a gun was missing? Yeah. After, after when I heard the dude got killed, I'm like, man, that nigga. Objection, your honor. This is not responsive to the question. Objection sustained. Rephrase your question. Sir, listen to the question, just answer the question. How did you find out the guy got killed? Objection, your honor. Who is the guy? No foundation. Be more specific. How did you find out Charlie got killed? Because Evans told me. All right. What did Evans tell you? He told me that the gun, that Charlie had stole the gun. And I said, man, I told you don't have a dude around. And he like, he killed the dude by his house. So objection, your honor. Again, this is not responsive to the question. Overruled. You can continue. He told me he killed a dude by the house and it was in my blue Taurus. So I'm like, man, you know, I really wasn't tripping because I wanted the dude dead anyway. But come to find out, one time, like, see under the house where we go at. Again, objection, your honor, rambling. Objection sustained. Did you all find the gun later? Yes. Who found it? I found it when I went under the house. What did you tell Evans? I told Evans, I said, boy, you killed that dude bad. I said, but that's good he got killed. What did Evans say to that? He was just laughing.